Welcome to the Horncastle Arena where we have just witnessed the tactics take on Waikato Bay of Plenty. Magic going down 46 to 61 this evening, Belinda. What were your thoughts on the match? Yeah, well, it was a good match, wasn't it? And it was a good match because it was an improvement for both sides. We know that the tactics had that record-breaking loss last week to the Steel. Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic, they were coming back from two losses as well. So they'll be really pleased with a win on the board. But, yeah, great improvement for both sides. Yeah, and your highlights from, you know, this game, what were you... The players that you love to watch out there? Well, you can't go past Casey Corpoa, can you? She is always so stunning to watch. She is just such an amazing athlete. Can't believe that she's, you know, giving the game away uh, internationally at the end of this season. But she was in great form. She's just into that real typical going for ball outside of the circle. But it was also her attack. She was always up, supporting it on attack, driving down that court. And the combination that she's building with jewellery, I'm sure sure the players in her team are really relishing um, having someone like her in their team to feed off, uh, particularly Jewelry, who's got her out in front. So, yeah, Casey Corpoa, as always, such a legend. Yeah, and you look at that, you know, driving the ball down court, it really does set up for that magic attack. It looked really smooth out there tonight. Yeah, look, we can't say enough about this magic side. They were impressive. I really liked them in, in, in attack. Ariana Cable Diction, the youngster who's come out of the Beko League last year, been pulled into the side at late notice, but she's really just forming a great combination with Grace Rasmussen in there. In the circle, we've got the South African import, Potgita. She's been strong every week for the side, really, really consistent. And they changed it up in goal attack. They provided lots of variety with coming on off the bench. Faulkner, the youngster, I thought she was really good as well. So yes, right through the court, I thought the Magic were good. Yeah, and if you look at that tactics, defensive line, Zoe Walker picked up a lot of deflections and intercepts for her team. What did you make of her performance tonight? Yeah, well, one of her better games so far this season. Zoe Walker's a player that we've been waiting and waiting to, to mature and, and start putting some consistent performances together. So tonight was a good start. She's great in the air. She's got amazing elevation uh, coming off a volleyball background. So yeah, she was really out hunting for the ball, and I think uh, it's absolutely what this tactic side needs. She needs a little bit more support coming from up court, you know, full court defensive pressure from her teammates. But yeah, backed up by Whakahukatau in the back as well. I think it was one of uh, the tactic's most comprehensive defensive efforts. But yeah, still wanting much, much more from this tactic side. Oh, Definitely, and if you look at the stats, is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Yeah, well, look, you can't go past the shooting stats for the Magic, 91%, and a lot of that came down to Potgita, and saying that Faulkner, she only missed one match for the, uh, one goal for the match. Intercepts, well, they were in favour of tactics. We saw Zoe Walker getting quite a few there, but... Uh, Turnovers were in a much better um, level for for both sides. And if we have a look at the shooting stats there, we see uh, Potgita, yeah, 38 out of 41. Faulkner, 17 eight out from 18. Um, and at the other end of the court, Brooke Lever, she was continuing that solid form as well with some uh, good accuracy for the tactics. Yeah, well, that is it from the Horncastle Arena where we've seen the tactics take on Waikato, Bay of Plenty Magic. Bay of Plenty Magic coming out on top, 61 to 46. Magic on three, one, two, three. Magic!